In this video, you'll learn how to create a moving average indicator in Thinkorswim that color changes based on a positive or negative slope. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now. I have a Thinkorswim platform video for you today looking at moving average line. And with this moving average line, the color change is going to be different if it's a positive slope moving average or a negative slope. So I have Apple's price chart pulled up here on the daily. And I have a 20 period moving average. And you can see that in the, the cyan color, we have positive slope. And then as the, the slope of the moving average line turns negative, the color changes to red. So really helpful tool to have for to visualize moving averages. You could just have a the same color moving average line, but having it change with the slope color, I think just allows you to objectively see whenever the, the trend has changed on any specific chart you're looking at. So we'll flip over to Excel and I'll walk through what this indicator is. And uh, there'll be a link in the description to the exact code that you can plug in and have it as available on your Thinkorswim platform. Okay, so I have the moving average slope color change indicator pulled up here. We have an input link, so this will be however many periods you wanna look at for your moving average. Then we have the average type which can be simple or exponential. It'll drop. It'll have a drop down option in the property section of Thinkorswim and I'll walk through what that looks like. And then you have your input price, which right now I'm setting it to default to the closing amount. And then we just plot that. And then from there, we are going to assign a color. So if the moving average today is less than what it was one period ago, then it's gonna to default to a red color. Otherwise it'll default to cyan. So really pretty simple code, uh, but just wanted to outline the logic that's going into the indicator. So if we can go ahead and copy this, but back to, to Thinkorswim, go up to our studies option and then go to edit studies. I'll go ahead and remove what was currently there. And then you go down here to the create option and you can just paste in what we copied in. We can create a title for this. So we can call that moving average slope color or whatever makes sense to you. Click OK and apply. So it brings in the indicator. And then if we go over here to properties, you can see that we can change the average type to simple, exponential, weighted, wilders, or whole. Change that to exponential. And then the price is going to default to close, but you can change that to whatever other uh, low, close, open, high, low, divided by two. A lot of different options there. Then your input length you can change as well. And you can see that cyan color is going to be a positive slope. And then as we turn over to, to negative, it'll flip to red. And you can change the, those colors as well. So go to studies, edit studies, and then you can right click and then do edit source. And this brings up the code we copied in. You can change this if you want a different color than red for negative slope or a different color for the positive than cyan. You can do that there. So pretty simple, but I think it is really helpful just to show overall trend. And as trends change, the, the color will change as well. So it gives you a, a nice objective way to, to find when, it, when a trend is changing in a, in a ticker. So hopefully you found this helpful. Like I said, the, in the description, I'll have that code for you. Otherwise, please consider liking and subscribing and God bless.